In this quick After Effects tutorial, I'll show you how to create this background distortion effect. So this is the clip I chose to work with. And the first thing I'm gonna do is duplicate it. We'll name this one Roro and select our Roto brush, double click our layer. Now I'm gonna select my subject here. Now a quick useful tip in case you didn't know, if you hold down control, click and go left to right with your mouse, you can actually scale the brush down in order to get into this tiny spots here to get a better selection. So that's a quick tip in case you didn't know and this looks good enough. Let's go ahead and freeze the Roto brush. We'll go back into the main composition here and we can see that the result is quite good or at least good enough for this tutorial. Now we're gonna apply the distortion effect and I'm gonna be creating a new adjustment layer. Let's call this one distort. And we'll add the CC scale wipe effect. Now, if I set the direction to zero here, let's position this upwards and increase the stretch, maybe set it to eight. You can see that if I drag this up and down, I can basically create this sort of a distortion and I can keyframe this. So for example, if I start right here, I can keyframe the position. Let's go to the end of our comp and drag it upwards. This way the sky is sort of coming into frame. Now one thing here you notice is the character is also getting distorted. Now to fix that, we can actually duplicate the roto layer that we've got. Let's drop it below here and I'll just isolate these two. So my background layer, I can set it to a track mat to my roto, invert it, and now I basically got this transparent area in my clip. Now I'm gonna go into the brush here and increase the edge, so maybe 50, maybe a bit more 60, just so we have a bit more of an outline. Now pre-compose this clip, so Control shift c and we'll call this background. Now using my content aware tool here, I'll set it to object. We can expand it a bit more, so free should be enough. And let's hit generate fill. Okay, it's still generating here, but as you can see, we got a pretty good result even without much effort here. So basically our character is invisible. Let's drop the fill layer below and enable everything back together. So now you can see that we don't get any distortion from our character here. There is some sort of an artifact here. I maybe should have increased the edge just a bit more, but as you can see, a pretty good result and it's not distorting our character. Now, in order to do this in other ways in this clip, for example, from left to right here, if I go into my direction, set it to 90, you can see that we can get a similar result for our background, but the only issue is the foreground is in our way. So what we can do here is duplicate our roto layer once again. Let's reset it, so I'll delete it and select my brush again, go into the clip. And this time I'm just gonna be isolating the foreground. So I'll grab this area and we can go pretty rough here. It doesn't really matter, but you'll notice that it gets pretty chattery. And that is because we do deal with some grass here and everything's pretty choppy but we're still gonna get a pretty good result. So once I select this area here, I'm gonna set the chatter to maybe 60, so it reduces it. And that's a pretty good and stable result right there. So let's go ahead and freeze it once again. And now I got a separate foreground layer as well on top here. So now the distortion doesn't count it and we sort of have it masked around. So now I can create a left and right animation here. So let's go set a keyframe from left and animate this going right like so. So it basically reveals the background in a distorted way. So this is a way to add some distortion effects to your background. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.